this is actually a sea trade pattern, but I've tied it before for a few boys for the for the Dalagon. This is the wee fly here, so it's called the Claw Special. So it's actually a Welsh fly that uh, some of the Welsh guys use for sea trade. So I'm just going to show you how to put it back, how to put it together. The hook in the vase is a Camazon B175 and size 10. You can tie these on size 8s if you wish. I'm going to start off using a Uni 3880 on white, and that's just to keep the body at the rear as bright as we possibly can. So we're just going to get our thread started there, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. And I'm just working my thread down past the, the point of the hook and removing the waist tag of thread. The tail, you're looking golden pheasant tip it. This one here's just been dyed sunburst. But it was natural, just natural tippet fibers. It was used in the original. The length, that's really up to you. I'm just sort of looking at the length of the hook or so over the back. Pinch and loop and then just work my thread down the shank of the hook tying in the tail come and trim away the waist the rib I'm using a wire this is a the hot yellow wire by UTC catch that in the rear body is traditionally a white tinsel but I'm going to use the uni stretch floss in white so I'll just catch that in at this point as well I'll just come in with a soft loop just put it into the, the length, the half length of the first part of the body and then just work our thread forward so it'll be halfway then just come round with your floss and you're sort of just looking touching turns of the floss now the uni stretch floss is great because the, the, it stays nice and bright for you Whereas I've used just the, the original floss, sometimes it can just dirty up a wee bit, be more like cream. So we'll just trim that away. Then the front part of the body, you're looking at a gold tinsel. This is a holographic gold tinsel that I'm using here. I'll just pull that in the length, just work our thread forward. Now you'll knock this wee fly up in no time. A point and then just come round with your gold holographic just an overlapping turns just work that up to there now the boys in North Wales I think it is when they when they tie this or face this pattern they usually face it with a maggot on the hook so I'm just going to come up here with four turns of the hot yellow wire but I used to tie this for a, a channel man he's no longer with us lived in Cookstown for the Dalican now I'm just going to bend and bring away the wire now that <coughs> I want to finish off with a black head at the front so I'm just coming in with a uni 80 black and then coming in throw away your white tang thread and a waste piece of black. Now the hackle at the front, you're looking at an orange leather cock, or in this case this is a, an orange hen hackle. Strip away the flue from the bottom of the feather. Stroke back the, the tip. Just come in with a couple of turns to catch in the tip. See it there, just catching it in. Now, just to make it secure, just fold back the tip. Work your thread back up over the top of the tip on the haggle. And that just means that this feather can never pull out. It will genuinely have to burst or break off the fly. And if you fish for Dalagan, you want your flies to be as robust as you can. Because you will go through plenty. Now, two to three turns of the hen haggle be plenty just at that point there. Just follow it around with your thread and then just get a couple of tight turns into the stem. Secure that in down to the other hook and then I can break it away and then work my thread back up 
for the wing. Right, just come in, just open this all out so you can you can see the wee fry a bit better. And then just to finish off, you're gonna some bronze mallard for the wing. So all you do here doesn't have to be a, a picture perfect wing. Just bring out your bronze mallard from the stem and just come in, tear it away. And then we're just going to fold this up on itself. We're just doubling it over to create a wing. Now the length of the wing is really up to you. <coughs> Excuse me, you can have it as long as short as you like. Now, I'm just going to offer this up. I want it sort of way coming up and past the first black bar on the tail. Then just come in and fold it. And just come around with nice loose turns. These aren't tight now, they're just loose, just to see what way you're sitting first. Just to make sure you're happy with the wing. Now, I'm happy with that, so just come back and hold the wing. Tighten up with another two. Double angle your wing at this point. Because it does have a tendency to move. Then just come in and clip away the bronze mallard. Take another turn to tighten up. Bring your thread to the eye of the hook. And then just build up your, your head over the cut ends of the mallard, nice and tight. And then just build up your head to the size that you like. Don't be shy with the size of a head on a fly, is what I would say. Just to that point. And then just come in with finishing two and throw in a whip finish. And there you go guys. That's the, the claw special. My first coat onto the head. As always, we drop a super glue. You just make sure you don't touch your wing if you're using the glue or your hackle. It'll just ruin your your hard work at this stage. Just right the whole way right round. And then once that dries, guys, I'll come in a couple of coats of varnish. Just to seal everything up. So there you go guys, you fix for Dalican. That'll even work for brown trout. I used to tie it years ago for a guy in Cookstown. Well, that was a good lot now. Not with us no more, but look, tie a few of those up if you face for a Dalican, even the brown trout. But the boys in North Wales have been using that for years for, for sea trout. And they put a maggot on the hook. So there you go guys, that's the the claw special. So hopefully you have got something from that. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. If this is the first time tuning in to watch one of my videos, please consider subscribing. It's completely free. And until the next time, look after each other. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.